In the Section 1A winner's bracket, a semifinal matchup between four-seeded Hatefield and two-seeded Lyle Pacelli. A defensive battle here at the liner to short. Meyer nabs it out of thin air and catches the runner with a lead. A heads-up double play as the Athletics draw 1-0 in the fourth. Hayfield still managing to keep LP off the scoreboard. The strikeout here in the bottom of the fifth. The score remains 1-0 in favor of the Vikings. On the mound for Lyle Pacelli, Vadir, fear Vadir, he gets a strikeout here. And later he would score the tying run before Lyle Pacelli walked it off in the seventh. The Athletics are headed to the Section 1A championship while Hayfield would head to the elimination bracket to play the winner of this game. Ten-seeded Rushford Peterson taking on one-seeded Southland. Southland lost in round two, but facing elimination, they've won the last two. Scoreless in the fourth, Jonas Wist whisks this deep, but there's a twist like a field goal doink off the crossbar. It hits the top of the yellow line and stays in, but puts a runner on third. Next batter, Bo Sater, grounds it to short. The Trojans would take the layup at first base, but then Austin Swenson darts home, and the catch isn't made. one nothing Southland. They'd add two more runs, and then in the final inning, former athlete of the week, Riley Jacks, count him. There was one, here's two, and then the final batter sat down swinging. Southland knocks off out Rushford Peterson 3-0, and they would play Hayfield in the final game of the elimination bracket later in the day. And Southland came out on top, winning 9-1. to That means they are on to the championship where they will take on Lyle Pacelli, another battle of the one and two seeds. That game is at Riverland Community College on Tuesday at 5 p.m. If Southland wins the first game, the second would follow at 7.